Hey, greetings. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have a, kind of an apples to apples comparison between two high end or claiming to be high end stick vacuums. Now, high end stick vacuums are kind of an oxymoron because they're meant for quick pickups. And these are both bagless units, so I don't really consider them high end. But, you know, they do sell for a comparable price, at least full MSRP. And you can both get these at Costco. They're both available on Amazon, and often we see them both discounted. So, which should you buy? Going by the different accessories these have, well, they might not seem so different. As you can see, they both come with the same sort of dusting, upholstery, and crevice tool. I guess the Dyson's crevice tool is a little longer. Uh, but this upholstery dusting brush combo is almost the same on both of them. So I would say that that part is a toss up. What isn't so much a toss up is how these are stored and used. As you can see, the Dyson does not stand up by itself, only there does the LG. But the LG gives you a stand with a spot for two of your favorite tools on board. And I really like that they give you the stand. It's, it feels very solid. And then you don't have to use the stand. You can wall mount the LG as well. So I find that to be a big plus. Another thing is when it comes to handheld brushes, the LG comes with this vibrating brush, which I haven't found to be any more effective or less effective really than a rotating one. I actually kind of prefer the Dyson brush. But again, this is a handheld option. You'll use it on couches and stairs and maybe in your car. So it's not the majority of what you're gonna be using your cleaner for. So just keep that in mind. This telescoping wand makes this and the Dyson, well, as you can see, inches away from being the same handle grip uh, within maybe an inch even. So the length is about the same where you hold them, but the LG, the weight's lower in your hand. It's a little bit nicer as far as that goes. The one thing I will mention about the LG versus the Dyson is when it comes to the handheld use, this is far more portable, far easier to use, and being able to just touch the button rather than having to hold the button. With the Dyson, you must hold the trigger. There's no way of keeping it on. And as you can see, uh, I'm getting a workout here holding both of these, but you can see that this is going to get in a lot more areas than the Dyson with the shape and size of the Cyclone on the Dyson. Even though the bin capacity, when we look at them, isn't that much different. And I'll explain that a little bit to you a little later, but you'll see that the bin on the Dyson, because the intake is actually going up through the center is actually smaller than you would think it would be. And because the LG has it coming through the top, the bin is larger than you would think it would be. Plus, LG does make compressor models where you can pack stuff down in the bin. We're gonna show the difference in bin capacity here with some paper shreddings. bin is full with the Dyson V11. Let's see how much the LG can pack in there. If we empty that out here. So as you can see, the bin sizes really are not that different in practicality. I'm using this because it's a high volume. I filled it up to the max. So, and it's still got plenty of suction after that, which is kind of cool. And again, you have a packer right here, or a compressor as they call it. So I think one of the obvious differences is the extra bulk of the V11. And give you an idea of the weight difference between these two. Uh, the LG comes in at 3.7 pounds. Three pounds seven ounces I guess I should say and the Dyson comes in at 4.6 uh, and as you can see 
just, just here by accident is how much larger this is. This is, again, and I'm a fairly big dude. Uh, this thing is unwieldy in comparison, to give you an idea, um, for size. So bigger must mean more powerful. Well, let's test its working vacuum and sealed vacuum. Now, disclosure, I am a mile above sea level, which means these results might be 10 or 20% more powerful at sea level. So that's the Dyson. Let's test the LG A9. So bigger does not mean better necessarily in terms of power. Let's talk about batteries and runtime. With the LG A9, the batteries are interchangeable. It comes with two batteries, which is a nice touch. They claim some really horrendous numbers in terms of runtime. Uh, and I say they're horrendous because like this thing doesn't run for 80 minutes. Neither of these run for the amount of time they projected at the power you would need to actually clean your floor. So I'm going to compare the run times on high. Um, I get about 10 to 15 minutes on each battery on the LG A9, which tend to be about the time it takes to fill up the bin. Usually about a battery and a half, the bin needs to be empty. Um, and what's nice about that is the charger for the LG A9 not only gives you that nice charm, but they give you two batteries so you're ready to go. Now, with the Dyson V11, you can buy the outsize, or overweight as I call it, because it's way too big to really hold or use. But with the newer generation Dyson, you can buy a separate battery. Uh, and it is uh, interchangeable at least. And this is a depart from the older models of V11. I'm often referring to this as the Mark II. Uh, it's the model number SV15. So you can buy a separate battery if you want uh, from Dyson. Now the amount of runtime I'm getting on this just enough run time that you can fill up the bin without running completely out of battery. But again, if you have to go outside and empty it, battery life is irrelevant. And that is kind of the problem between these two units, uh, is that they're both bagless. Let's talk about the dirty business of bagless. Uh, why in 2020 you would be buying a bagged or a bagless vacuum? Well, bags cost less money to maintain and they require a lot less maintenance the most bagless cleaners. Um, so that's why you would go with a bagged unit. They also filter better. So, and most of the time it's, you can go a month, sometimes two months without changing a vacuum bag, where both of these have to be emptied pretty much every time you use them. Now, apart from emptying them, let's talk about filters. The LG A9 has two separate filters, and I think this is a better system than Dyson. They give you two of these filters, which is a big plus, so you can always have one uh, that's washable. So you'll need to wash this every time. And then the HEPA filter, you can change every six months to a year. Uh, and there's no generic HEPA filter available for the LG that I've seen. Hopefully later there'll be an aftermarket, but there's not really an aftermarket for filters for the LG. Now with Dyson, you still have two filters, but they've put the washable and the non-washable together. And Dyson does say you can wash the HEPA, but as we know, paper filters don't particularly wash well. Um, I've got years on the vacuum bench, trust me, don't wash the paper. So again, uh, you'll need to change this every six months to a year as a whole assembly. The good news is if you don't want to splurge for a Dyson filter, there are plenty of aftermarket filters and I'll put a link below to some of those. Uh, so that's the good news with Dyson's. You do have a little bit more aftermarket because of the pop popularity of Dyson products. Quick touch on the aftermarket. Both of these use a strange fitting that is custom to the manufacturer. You saw me earlier with the working vacuum gauge. I was able to adapt a Mila to an inch and a quarter fitting to make this work. It doesn't really stay on there that snug, but it is something you could do. The fitting is 34 and a half millimeters, so it's not quite at the 35 millimeter fitting. Um, kind of a weird size with uh, the LG. And the same goes with Dyson. Now with Dyson, I want to say something about the fitting, is the fitting is not a full circle, which means that the airflow is very restricted, but as we saw, the Dyson's not particularly powerful. 
and you can see the difference in the fittings right there. So just keep that in mind. If you, there is a tool that you want that fits on your other vacuum, probably not going to fit one of these without finding some sort of adapter or something like that. Going to floor brushes, uh, the LG comes with a spinning brush, which almost looks like it's a copy of the Dyson. Now, here's where things get really weird. Where Dyson has used a gate for lack of a height adjustment on carpet and to allow big objects to pack, pass through, they don't put wheels in areas where this actually contacts the floor. And so they rely on this rubber thing dragging across your floor. Where what LG has done is they've put wheels in better spots. There is a felt strip in the rear, uh, but it is a fully supported and then the swivel neck operates independently of the nozzle. This allows this nozzle to work better on soft carpet uh, and really just on floors in general. You can feel the maneuverability difference between this. The LG is definitely more maneuverable. The head width are the same. So there's no clear difference there. Both of these have brush rollers that continue to spin on hard floor, which as I've said before is generally a negative. Dyson did at one point make a straight suction tool. LG does not. Both of these companies do make a what they call a fluffy brush roller. I've got a whole video explaining why that's really a bad idea and don't buy that, don't use that. Let's do a pickup test. We have some flour and some dog hair. This should be no problem for either of these. <laughs> and stand up by itself. So let's take a look. All I both sucked up dog hair. No flour. You can see the flower right there in terms of, so the Dyson scattered the flower. It doesn't get the fine stuff. They both get pet hair. So again, these are both intended for quick pickups and not deep cleans. So let's see how they both do on my soft carpet, which is less than ideal for any of these. And again, neither of these are suitable to be your only vacuum. <laughs> Side-by-side -side comparison. Again, there's still some flour left. And it seems to have picked up most of the animal hair. And again, car some of these carpet fibers do come loose for whatever reason when I use either of these, which I'm not happy with. Okay, the LG has no flour. Um, again, they, again, they both have caused shedding of my carpet, which I'm not particularly happy with. Uh, but animal hair seems to be decent on both of these. Now, looking at what they pulled back, they both moved animal hair off to the side, uh, right here. Neither of these are particularly great at the edge cleaning. Well, I hope this has helped you decide between the two. Um, as far as a clear winner goes, I'm gonna let you be the judge there. As far as I'm concerned, the clear winner here is your full-size vacuum. I would encourage you to check out my full-length reviews on both of these. I have a lot of good detailed information where I take them apart in the shop, I show the maintenance, I even show how the warranty process goes with these particular units. On closing, I would like to say that the LG has a 10-year warranty, where the Dyson has a two-year warranty. And Dyson says these should last two to four years, where again, LG has a 10 year warranty, which means there's presumably at least a 10 year lifespan. Uh, quality difference between the two, the LG is made in South Korea. The Dyson is made in Malaysia. Neither of these feel like something like a SIBO or a Mila or a pneumatic. Neither of these feel particularly high quality. But again, having a warranty, an extended warranty, it's not just a return to Costco type of deal is promising. 
I think the stand on the LG, to me, the fact it comes with that really makes a difference, especially if you're like in an apartment or something and you can't drill a hole in your wall. I think the fact they give that stand is an added value alone, let alone that the machine is more powerful. Also including the extra filter is a nice touch as well. So please uh, check out my other reviews. Give this video a thumbs up. Tell me your experience with either of these machines if you own them below. Have yourself a wonderful day.